Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to be checking out several space weather items. We've got watch levels rising here today. We'll also hit some cool astronomy and interesting life energy studies, and we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We took another M-class solar flare. A CME was produced. Filaments are snapping around the periphery. And we've got new sunspots coming in behind the coronal hole. Let's get into these items, starting with the sunspot flaring. After two M-class events the previous day, we reached a bit higher yesterday, an M4 event. Same central sunspot group. If you didn't catch the flash and pop in the first run, we'll do it again here. Central region, flash and ejection of plasma. The SOHO coronagraph show only a faint plasma signature, so it's a weak CME, but NASA's models do have it with chances to impact Earth's magnetic field two days from now. Enlil spiral shows a glancing blow. The coronal hole is trailing right behind that active region, transequatorial, significant size. Its solar wind will also be arriving this weekend, could be having geomagnetic storms Saturday and Sunday. Now, while we're waiting for the CME and coronal hole stream to potentially arrive in the coming days, we've got a growing field arc showing on the incoming limb. This area is pretty active, and you can see the height and reach of those umbral and coronal magnetic fields. We have two sunspot groups to take a closer look at, but we're going to start with the entire relevant Earth-facing portion of the sun. You can see the spots turning through, strong morphing and change of physical characteristics. The big one near the center, which has been making the solar flares, is gaining umbral size, but the connected train of umbers is broken, creating space between them during the CME launch. Not sure if they'll fire again, but meanwhile, on the incoming limb, we have two mature umbral cores and a new sunspot group born there, beneath the moving arcs. Growing quickly, we've got eyes on them. First article today comes with this animation. They saw that a young stellar jet hit a pocket of plasma and caused a runaway explosion and expansion of the pocket. This returned to impact the disk around the star, draping over it and forming one side differently than the other. It is just their best guess. They are scoping the whole thing in the aftermath, but it is the only guess they have as of now as to what happened so far. Also a fascinating article here on cosmic rays substituting for sunlight. They say that if we look to non-solar energy use for life, like in deep caves or nuclear waste facilities, where alternative energy sources are used by microbes, cosmic rays could do the same thing on other spheres. In our solar system, they say Enceladus, Mars, and Europa are the best candidates to have microbial life thriving off cosmic rays under the surface today. Folks, the team on our documentary is putting everything together. Still slated for a release this fall, and folks, looking like the best way for us to do that is for free, either right here on YouTube or on a dedicated web page. Our sponsor, goldobservers.com, is strongly in favor of giving it away to everyone for free, and we are inclined to agree. I want to thank all of you who have contributed and helped, and of course, thanks to our main sponsor, goldobservers.com. The film is meant to be the easiest way for you to share this topic of Earth's disaster cycle with your friends, no more trying to figure out what to say or how to say it. Now all you need is a few weeks more patience, and I'll hand you the keys to the train. Again, thanks to goldobservers.com. We're three days away from the Prepper event at Observer Ranch. Going to be a heck of a day there. We have lots of other significant events the rest of the year as well. And just yesterday, I chatted for a few hours with several observers who were just passing through. It's best to give us a heads up if you plan to come outside the event day so I can come see you. Check out the events and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.